How are we doing, guys? Good. 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 Will, has Prescott been cleared to throw a little bit more today, or at this stage, is it better just to, to rest that shoulder? Yeah, he, he probably won't throw very much today. Uh, I think rest is probably the best thing for him right now. Are there any updates or changes in his shoulder from yesterday? Uh, you know, I guess he's progressing. He hasn't tested it very much, though. Is it one of those things where the first time he really tests it could be warm-ups before the game on Sunday? Yeah, we'll just kind of get through today and just see how he does, and we'll make our decision for what the plan is for tomorrow. Update with Tyron and his time. Better. Uh, he can see out of it a little bit more, so we anticipate him practicing today and probably wearing a shield. So is it a sty or is it a... I don't want to get into the specifics of what it is, um, but it, it's something like that. It's in the Stye family. Why don't we leave it like that? Uh, what, what do you guys like about Cooper Rush if he needs to play for whatever reason? That's uh, there's a lot to like about Coop. Uh, you know, he's one of those guys came in as a free agent and really just earned his way uh, based on how he's played. Uh, his approach is outstanding. Uh, he's a real pro in terms of his preparation. He's always ready for his opportunities. And, uh, and just handle situations well. He's a smart football player, he's an instinctive player, he's a good decision maker. Uh, he's probably uh, a better athlete and has a better arm than maybe uh, people give him credit for. And uh, he's just done a good job when he's gotten chances. We like him a lot. Fletcher Cox was invited to his fifth straight Pro Bowl. What makes him so effective in the interior of the Eagles Eagles Bowl? Just a great player. Um, he's, he's, he's great for so many different reasons. He's big. Uh, he's quick, he's explosive, he's physical, uh, he plays with great technique, he plays with a competitive spirit, hands are strong, he goes to the ball, uh, he's powerful, uh, he's around the ball a lot in the running game, he affects the quarterback in the passing game, he's one of those guys that gets a lot of attention and continues to show up, so he's a hell of a football player. Sean Lee and Joe Thomas, will they do anything for you today? <clears throat> uh, Joe will probably not do very much, Sean might do a little bit more than he did yesterday. How, uh, it's obviously unusual that Dak plays in any game without having a full week of practice, and I guess he might not have any practice. What would give you a comfort level with that going into a game someday? Kind of not in the routine? Yeah, you know, we deal with that all the time with players. You know, oftentimes you're not able to practice as much as you want. You said that Dak has really practiced and played in virtually every game since we've gotten him. So it's a little bit different for him. Um, but, but that experience helps him. Obviously, he knows our offense. He's got great command of it. And uh, the biggest thing we have to do is make sure he's healthy, uh, like we would with any other player. If he, even, I assume he's going to play. I mean, teammates seem confident of that. Um, would you consider the possibility of having a third quarterback active for this game? Yeah, we just got to wait and see. Uh, you know, We'll try to get through today and see how he feels today. and and see how Coop does today, and, and we'll make our decision as the week goes on. We talk a lot about Sean Lee's intensity. What's one of your earliest memories of when you realized how intense Sean Lee was? Oh, I think there are so many. I remember the first time I met him. Uh, anybody's had a conversation with Sean Lee about football, uh, recognizes that intensity. I mean, he looks you right in the eye, and you know it's almost like he wants to tackle you uh, in the conversation. So uh, that was very memorable for me. Um, and then just so many different memories of him in practice. You know, he probably goes in that, that category for me of the Bill Bates guy, you know, unbelievable person off the field. But when he gets on the field, he kind of doesn't know how to tone it down at all. So, you know, walkthroughs and, and shells practices, all those kinds of things. You know, he's hitting guys and knocking them to the ground. You know, Bates was like that. Sean's got that same trait, you know. And, uh, and that's what makes those guys great. Uh, he, he only knows one speed. His level of intensity, his love of the game, his willing to, willingness to prepare and do whatever he can to be the best player he can be, it, it, it leaps out at you every single day you're around him. And uh, it's one of the reasons he's been a great player for us. Uh, looks like you guys are going outside, kind of the same reasons as the Chicago deal for you all. Um, yeah, grass good. weather, all that kind Grass field in Philly, obviously we can't duplicate the weather. Uh, up there, but uh, you know the grass certainly helps us, and uh, we'll continue to work on that. What are your impressions of Miles Sanders and what he's done for them with a larger role since the first time? Really played? good player, really good player coming out of school, and doesn't surprise us one bit. He's playing as well as he has. Um, a good inside runner, a good outside runner, a good receiver. 
Uh, you know, he's a competitive guy. He's got great instincts for the game, and uh, he's just a really good football player. What do you take from the experiences that you, you had as a, as a younger coach in 2011, 12, and 13 in these similar situations to impart to the guys this week with such a, uh, a winner-take-all kind of game here? Yeah, you know, we have a lot of different experiences. You know, all of us do, uh, you know, those years, but certainly years after that when you're uh, in the playoffs. And, um, you know, the biggest thing you have to do is you have to focus on each day's preparation uh, to get yourself ready to go. And, uh, you know, the game's on Sunday, but, you know, what we need to do each and every day, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, leading up to Sunday is going to give us a chance to play our best football. Any other injuries with Dak, his index finger, are those still issues as well? As they don't appear to be. How much do you enjoy these situations, or these games, like with, with so much on the line? I mean, isn't this a little different? Is or in your mind, is this not different than a week five game when you when you're four and one, three and two? Yeah, uh, yeah. I think anybody who's involved in the NFL just absolutely loves it. Uh, opportunity to play on Sunday, coach on Sunday in any game. And certainly when the stakes get higher towards the end of the year, just an exciting time for all of us. What's the process to get Malcolm Smith as scheme familiar as possible leading up to Sunday? And is it the abbreviated give it as scheme familiarity carry coming in here? Oh, I, I just think maximize every learning opportunity you can. Spend extra time with coaches, obviously completely engaged in meetings and walkthroughs. Maximize the practice time, spend time afterwards. He's a smart guy. He's a veteran player. He's played in the system before. So there's a lot of carryover for him coming in. But obviously, there's a lot of nuance in systems as well. So you just try to you know, get him up to speed as quickly as you can. You go over it again and again and again. He's smart. He's engaged. He picked things up quickly. So excited about having him on our team. Are special teams, special teams, special teams? Are there things that you guys do that he'll, that are specific to you guys that he'll have to learn? Yeah, I think it's probably the same thing. He's a veteran player. He's been in a lot of different situations, but certainly the terminology and the different details of what we do, uh, he has to get on top of. Thank you. All right. Thank Good you. to see you guys. Appreciate it.